Now there is more from the interview of Brian Butler. Butler is the former uh, Mar-a-Lago employee who's cooperated with the Department of Justice and FBI in their criminal case against Donald Trump for his willful retention of national defense information. And Brian Butler sat for an exclusive with Caitlin Collins at CNN. And Brian Butler describes in very vivid detail in some of the new footage that's been released about what he witnessed at Mar-a-Lago. Butler began as a seasonal valet at Mar-a-Lago. He ended up building uh, the kind of car transportation business at Mar-a-Lago. They would take visitors from Mar-a-Lago to the airport or to the or to their private jets. And in one such incident, Brian Butler observed the Australian billionaire Anthony Pratt, who was in the car, brag about how after he left a Mar-a-Lago event where he paid like seven figures to attend these Mar-a-Lago events, um, Donald Trump gave him information about nuclear submarines. And Butler was there. He heard Anthony Pratt bragging to his chief of staff, to Pratt's chief of staff, and again, Pratt's this Australian billionaire, bragging to his chief of staff about getting these nuclear secrets from Donald Trump at Mar-a-Lago. And Butler was like, what in the world is going on? So he's told that to the FBI and the Department of Justice, which has now since been corroborated by many other uh, sources as well, I believe, including Anthony Pratt, as well as the people who Anthony Pratt told this information to. Watch what Butler says what went down when Pratt was in his vehicle after leaving an event from Mar-a-Lago that Pratt paid massive amounts of money for. Play this clip. Were there ever any instances when you were still working there that you witnessed where Trump was, in your view, carelessly throwing around national security information? You know, this really, you know, stood out to me, but in, uh, I believe it was April of 2021, um, there was a member, Anthony Pratt, who he was coming, he, he flew in the night before. He's an Australian billionaire. He finishes his meeting with the former president, gets in the car, and his chief of staff says, how did the meeting go? Pratt, without saying, just says, he told me, and it would be, you know, US military, you know, classified information of what he told him about Russian submarines and US submarines. And that's really all I remember hearing, and I went, what? You know, I'm thinking this. I'm in the car. I'm like, did I just hear that? So it, it wasn't like, oh, the meeting went well. We talked about it. it. was He went straight to the point. He told me that the U.S. subs and with the Russian subs and, you know, something that would pro more than likely in my mind be classified. So it was clear to you that he was basically seeking access to China. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, red flags went up in my mind years before that. So Anthony Pratt, this Australian billionaire that you're talking about, he would pay a lot of money to, to come and have these New Year's Eve parties. So, so it might cost a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars per person. He was giving a million dollars. And I think at the height he had 30 or 40 people there. So something that would be 50,000, let's just say max 50. Here's a guy that's just buying access. It's, it's very easy to see. Let's be very clear too, that Brian Butler, who you're seeing right there, was a Donald Trump loyalist for decades, decades. He worked at Mar-a-Lago, his life was the Trump organization, but after seeing Donald Trump give our nuclear secrets to random people at Mar-a-Lago and to see the transactional nature of Trump's quid pro quos at Mar-a-Lago sacrificing our safety and security, Butler's like, I'm out, <laughs> get me out of this, and started cooperating with the FBI unlike Carlos de Oliveira and Waltine Nauta, who are now co-defendants with Donald Trump, who tried to cover this up and who provided false information uh, to the FBI and to the Department of Justice in their criminal investigation. And Butler was best friends with Carlos de Oliveira. They were like inseparable best buddies. But ultimately, Butler had a decision he had to make when confronted with 
following the law or breaking the law. Here's another part of that interview where Butler tells Caitlin Collins from CNN that presumably anybody who was in Mar-a-Lago could have got our nuclear codes, could have got our war plans, could have got our national defense information. Anybody at all. Play this clip. Did Who had access to the rooms where the documents were kept? I, I, you know, I don't know if it, a master key, but I mean, like, I could have went and got a master key to all the rooms, you know, for check-ins. You know, I oversaw all the check-ins with the valets, all of that. So, I mean, feasibly at night, anybody could. Who made the call where these boxes were kept? You know, the Pine I Hall have, in the in the well, ballroom. Pine, Pine Hall was always gone. How'd you sleep last night? If you answered not so great, just okay, or don't ask. You're not alone. One out of three Americans report being sleep deprived and your sheets could be the problem. The wrong sheets can trap body heat, leaving you boiling one minute and freezing the next. The solution, Cozy Earth Bedding. Cozy Earth Bedding helped make sure I had an incredible night's sleep. The sheets are so soft and breathable. You'll love them just as much as I do. Cozy Earth is a life-changing luxury. Cozy Earth's best-selling bamboo sheet is made from 100% premium viscose from bamboo, which makes them naturally temperature-regulating and breathable. So you'll sleep more comfortably all year round. Cozy Earth sheets are uniquely soft and only get softer with every wash. Cozy Earth is the brand that made Oprah's favorite things five years in a row. Cozy Earth comes with a 100 night sleep trial, which means you have up to 100 nights to sleep on them, wash them, try them out. If you're not completely in love, just return them within 100 days for a full refund. And all of their products also include a 10 year warranty against defects, whether it's their luxury bedding, ultra comfortable loungewear, plus bath towels and more, you'll love shopping at Cozy Earth. If you've never tried Cozy Earth, Earth, I've got some great news. You can save up to 35% off Cozy Earth right now, but hurry, this offer won't last. Go to CozyEarth.com slash Midas and enter our promo code Midas at checkout for up to 35% off. That's C-O-Z-Y-E-A-R-T-H dot com slash Midas, M-E-I-D-A-S. Use that promo code Midas. That's CozyEarth.com slash Midas. Let me show you one more clip from this interview. As our editor-in-chief, Ron Filipkowski, puts it, this is a recent Donald Trump employee, wake up, America. And here, Brian Butler tells Caitlin Collins that Americans have the right to know this is not a witch hunt. I don't think this is right. What is happening? Play this clip. Um, I think we can do better. You're obviously a central witness in this case. If it goes to trial, are you prepared to testify? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. His attorneys are trying to get it pushed, though, past the election. Do you believe that this trial should happen before the election? I mean, I think the American people have the right to know the facts that this is not a witch hunt. I mean, he can go on and TV and say this. That's one of the reasons for doing this. Um, and quote, you know, the PRA says this and that, I, it's all bogus. But people believe him. Um, you think it's a fair investigation? Absolutely, I mean, to me, you have the law and order president attacking agents, the special counsel, on an almost a daily basis when these people are just taking their sworn, sworn oath, they, they took a sworn oath to, um, basically follow the laws of this country, and now you have somebody attacking them, I, I don't think that's right. You know, and one of the things that's referenced there is what Donald Trump is arguing to Judge Eileen Cannon. Trump is claiming that under the president, that's what Trump's argument is in federal court. You know we've done a lot of hot takes on this. Trump says that under the Presidential Records Act, he has taken our nuclear secrets and war plans and classified information, and he's turned it into his own personal property. This is what Trump argues. By the transmutative properties of packing them into boxes and sending them to Mar-a-Lago. Trump is like the burglar who goes into your house, steals your stuff, and then says it's not a robbery. It's not a burglary because he put it in his car and took it to his home. 
these documents belong to we the people. This is national defense information and no one is above the law. Trump's argument is that he's that he owns our classified records because he packed it up and shipped it to Mar-a-Lago and he has Stephen Miller writing amicus briefs for this. One other point that, I mean, it's the most absurd thing in the, in the world. He's saying, yeah, I took them. They're mine, my personal property. No, they're not. They belong to we, the people. W one other point I'm going to make here too, which is somewhat related to this, but I think it's an important point to make. And it's about the RNC because this should be a wake-up call to everybody right now too. So Trump's taken over the RNC. He's appointed Lara Trump as the co-chair of the RNC, which they all uh, voted for. Trump, they're firing 60 of the RNC staff, who I guess they all thought that they were going to be doing the purging. They got purged. Trump is moving the RNC to basically work out of Palm Beach, like from Mar-a-Lago, essentially. And that's the Republican Party today. So he says, I own the Republican Party. Mine, 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 mine. Folks, we're so much better than this as a nation. We are. And you got Brian Butler there sounding the alarm. I'm Ben Micellis. This is the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 3 million subscribers. Thanks to your support. Thank you. Hey, Midas Mighty. Love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.